So, wag kalimutan. Wag kalimutan. Wag kalimutan. Mag subscribe. Maraming maraming salamat po. Hello, I'm Tutor Sun, and today we are going to solve the curvy copter cube. This curvy copter cube has six sides. Each side has its own color. The color scheme is the same as the regular 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube. In front of us is blue. On the back side is green. On the right side is red. On the left side is orange. On top is yellow. And on the bottom side is white. Each side has four center pieces, four corner pieces, and four edge pieces. Each edge piece is a pivot where we can rotate this composite part. This is the composite part. Okay? The composite part is composed of three segments or three sections. Okay? Now, this section or this segment is composed of one center piece and one corner piece. The middle section is composed of one edge piece and two center pieces. And the other section or segment is composed of one corner piece and one center piece. We can rotate this composite part clockwise or counterclockwise. It should be done in 180 degrees. Since it is a 180 degrees rotation, it doesn't matter if we rotate it in a clockwise manner or in a counterclockwise manner, the result will always be the same. Now, these two adjacent center pieces, okay, side by side, we can swap these two. We can also swap these two or these two or these two. Okay, we can swap it side by side. But we cannot swap it face to face like this. We can also swap it diagonally like this. For example, if you want to place this yellow centerpiece here, just turn this 180 degrees and it's here. Okay? So, if we want to place a yellow centerpiece here, so we must look for it in a diagonal manner. Okay? Diagonal manner. Okay, we have one yellow piece here, so all we have to do is to turn this 180 degrees and then place this here. So turn this 180 degrees. Okay, and then place this here so we can rotate this 180 degrees. See? So we have to look for it in a diagonal manner. Okay? Now, uh, okay, this uh, composite part can be divided into three sections, okay, like this, okay. So this is a composite part that is divided into three sections or three segments, okay, first, second, and third. So, we must be familiar with this composite part and uh, each segment so that if we are going to jumble this, okay, we can easily identify each part or each pieces and we'll easily be able to turn it into a cube again, okay? So... I will show you the different situation or the di different cases or different problems with solution uh, when the pieces or the composite parts are jumbled, okay? So this is the first case, okay? This is uh, one composite part, okay? These are the three segments, one, two, and three, okay? So, one segment is not in the correct orientation. And this is uh, another 
composite part okay so these are the three segments one two and three okay this uh, segment or this section is not in its proper orientation also okay so as you can see one is uh, uh, diagonally positioned and the other one is uh, pointing upward okay so in order to fix this okay we must uh, okay we must imitate this position okay so we will turn this to the right okay we will replace this uh, this part with this one okay now these two segments are joined together okay now we have two segment also here one two the other one is right here so we need to turn this over to join the other two segments now it form a uh, one whole composite part okay so this composite part lock one uh, locks one uh, segment okay first segment second and third segment so the third segment segment is here so we need to rotate this okay in order to join these two composite parts now it turn into a cube again okay now this is another situation where uh, okay this is uh, this is one composite part okay this is another composite part okay uh, one segment is pointing upward this one also so these are like two heads of a of of a swan okay okay so now in order to fix this uh, we have to turn this okay hold it like this we need to turn this to the right side okay now the form is the same as the previous one okay one is slant and the, the other one is pointing up upward so all we have to do is to replace this segment with this one okay just turn it to the right side okay now this composite part this is a uh, one composite part and this is also one composite part first segment second segment the third segment is right here so we need to turn this uh, upside down okay so this uh, segment will join the other two segment which will form into one whole composite part okay so this composite part locks one segment okay which is uh, right here so they share these two composite parts share one segment so we need to turn this okay now it turned into a cube again this is another situation where the one segment of each part is uh, facing each other like uh, the head of a two swans okay so what we will do to fix this is uh, okay we simply turn this composite part this whole composite part so this segment will be on this side okay pointing upward so now the the form is very familiar one is pointing upward and one is slant okay so all we have to do is to uh, okay follow this slant with this segment okay now this segment uh, will join the this uh, middle segment okay so this composite part lock one segment so it is right here so we need to flip this over okay now this form into one whole composite part okay so the other composite part uh, the other segment for this composite part is also this one okay they joined one one segment okay these two composite part uh, share one seg one segment okay so we need to turn this okay now it turned into a cube again 
if we encounter this situation where the middle section of this composite part is not in its proper orientation so just turn this okay okay make this flash and also this then we will separate these two okay uh, then let's turn this let's try to make it closer to this one and try to solve the two at once if that's if that that's not possible then we will separate solve uh, these two okay we will separately solve these two so let's try to solve it together first okay yeah okay now uh if this is uh, the situation one is uh, pointing upward and then one is pointing downward now we can easily solve this too so we don't have to solve it separately okay so all we have to do is to turn this to the right side okay now we will follow the so this uh, form is very familiar okay this is the uh, basic form when uh, it is uh, jumbled okay so the other one is slant and the other segment is pointing upward so we need to follow the uh, position of this segment slant okay so just turn this if we turn this to follow the slant of the other segment okay we will replace uh with this segment we will replace this one okay now these two segments are joined together so this segment will be placed here so this composite part can be whole again okay like so now this composite part lacks one uh, segment which is uh okay this one okay so we will just turn this okay we will just turn this okay okay so they share one uh, segment these two composite parts share one segment okay now they are joined together so it turned into a cube again okay now with this situation uh the two composite parts okay are involved so each uh, middle segment is not in their proper orientation okay to solve this uh, we have to okay this segment needs to join this middle segment okay just bring this up okay then uh, this segment needs to join this middle segment okay so we need to flip this over okay now uh this composite parts lock one segment which is here okay so we need to flip this around okay now this form a whole composite part so we need to flip this in order for this segment uh to be placed uh, between these two composite parts okay because they share one segment okay now it turned into a cube again now uh, if we have two separate composite part okay two separate composite parts with the middle sections that are not in their proper orientation okay previously we also have two uh, composite parts but they are uh, conjoined with the with the segment okay now they are separated okay so two separate composite parts with the middle segments that 
that are not in their proper orientation okay so if we encounter this uh, we need to okay turn this okay okay uh, okay let's make this uh flash first okay this one also make it flash okay flash flash so let's make the middle uh segment flash here and here this one also flash here and here so now we can uh Okay. Okay, if we rotate this okay if we are going to look at this composite part uh, one segment is pointing upward and other segment is a uh, slant okay this is the basic form when it is jumbled so we need to follow the slant okay using this segment okay now these two segments are joined together so we need to rotate this okay now these two segments join together so we need to uh, rotate this again like so okay now we will try to uh, get these two segments closer to each other okay so we need to rotate this rotate this again okay so now this is uh, very familiar okay this is the basic uh, form when uh, it is jumbled one is pointing upward and the other one is slant so all we have to do is to follow this slant so we need to make this slant uh, okay then if we do that this segment will join this middle segment okay so this composite part okay lock one segment this is composite part also lock one segment okay the segment is also this one okay these two composite parts share one segment okay so we need to rotate this okay now uh, this segment are now joined with these two other segments so they form a composite part so this one lock one segment which is this one also they share one segment so we simply rotate this now it form it turned into a cube again now we can jumble this thoroughly so since it is a shape shifter cube uh, after jumbled it will become deformed so the first step then we have to turn it into a cube again okay so let's jumble this now we can solve it okay so the first step is we need to turn this uh, uh, twisty puzzle into a cube okay so this is a shape shifter so now it is deformed so we need to turn it into a cube again okay so i can hardly move the composite part and the pieces this means that the cube 
okay it's a uh, totally jumbled okay so let's make this okay let's turn this into a cube again Okay, this is the middle segment that is not in its proper orientation. This one also. Okay, these are the two uh, conjoined uh, composite parts with the middle segments that are not uh, in their proper orientation. Okay, this one, this segment is pointing downward. Okay okay now uh, when we turn the cube so now this this one uh, is now slant and this one is pointing upward okay now this is very familiar so this is the actually the basic form when jumbled okay so now we will try to solve it okay so we must follow the slant position here of this one so we will replace this segment with this by rotating it okay so now the two segments are joined together okay now we will rotate this to put this segment here okay so it will form a composite part Let's see if we can rotate this okay now uh, we have one composite part that is formed okay so we can simply rotate this like that okay now we have two okay we have a uh, two composite part or two composite parts that are joined by a segment okay with the middle segments that are not in their proper orientation so okay we will bring this up okay this segment will now join with this segment the middle segment okay see okay now we need to rotate this so we can put this segment here to join this middle segment of the other composite part okay now okay so this is uh, one composite part this is another composite part okay it has a uh, each composite part has three segments one two and three the other one is right here so we will rotate this okay now it form a full composite part okay so all we have to do is to rotate this like this now it turned into a cube the next step okay step number two is we are going to fix the white side okay this is the white side you can easily tell that this is the white side because of the edge pieces okay so we have already three edge pieces that are white all we have to do is to rotate this 180 degrees okay like i said before uh it doesn't matter if we so let's turn this back to its original uh, position so like I said before, if you want to put this on top, we can rotate it uh, 180 degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Since it is 180 degrees, it doesn't matter if we rotate it clockwise, like so, okay, or counterclockwise, like so, because the result will always be the same, okay, since it is 180 degrees rotation. Okay, now the edge pieces are done so we will do the four center pieces we will place a uh, white center pieces okay we will look for a center piece a white center piece in a diagonal manner so this is one composite part okay so this is the diagonal manner okay so we will look for a white center piece to place it here in a diagonal manner okay diagonal manner diagonal manner okay we have one here so we will rotate this then rotate this again to place it here okay now uh, before we rotate this to place the white center piece here 
we need to flip this okay in order to place the white side on this side okay okay now the white side is here this is the edge piece of the middle section so now we can place the center white center piece here just rotate this 180 degrees okay now the white center piece uh, is joined or on, uh, is now joined with the white edge piece okay now we can simply rotate this 180 degrees so it's here now we will look for another one so we must look for it in a diagonal manner so we have one white center piece here so we must set this aside first because we need to uh, place this white edge piece on the left side on the other side so we need to rotate this 180 degrees also now we can place the white, set, white center piece here okay so white white okay now we can rotate this 180 degrees so it's right here it's done now we need uh, to fix two more so we have one white center piece here we can place it here so before we place this white center piece here we need to set this aside first in order to rotate this to the other side oh now we can place the white center piece back okay to join with the uh, white edge piece now we can simply rotate this 180 degrees so it's fixed now we have still one more so we will look for it in a diagonal manner diagonal manner diagonal manner so we don't have a white center piece here but we have it over here so as i have said before we can uh, swap these two then we will uh, we will swap these two so we need so we cannot directly uh, swap these uh, two center pieces white and blue we have to swap these two first and then when this white center piece is already here we can swap uh, it can swap with this uh, blue center piece okay so we need to swap these two first okay okay so to do that uh okay bring this red center piece on the right side this one also now it's on the left side bring this a little bit up so it will form a half circle this one down okay bring it a down a little bit it will form another half circle together they will form a big circle now we can rotate this to swap the two center pieces okay bring this back up bring this back down now bring this back up this one also bring it back up okay now let's check so okay uh, this one so okay we need to make another swap right okay this time with the blue okay uh, we need to rotate this 180 degrees so we can do it here okay to avoid messing up with this uh, white side okay so we need to swap these two so again uh, bring this down now the blue center piece is on the right side this white bring it also down now the white center piece is on the left side so bring this rotate this a little bit it will form a half circle then the other one bring it down a little bit also it will form uh, another half circle together they will form a big circle okay like this one okay okay now we can rotate this to swap the two okay now rotate this back now let's check okay let's check it's the white side uh, here, here here okay so this one uh, so we will look for it in, on a diagonal manner 
okay like this like this like this okay so now we can rotate this okay so before we rotate this to put this white centerpiece here okay we need to rotate this first place this white edge piece on top now we can place this white centerpiece here so it will be joined with the white edge piece here okay now we can simply rotate it 180 degrees so we have still one white center piece okay so we will look for it in a diagonal manner okay hold it like this oh it's right here so maybe we can hold it like this so we will look for it in a diagonal manner so diagonal manner diagonal manner so it's right here so before we place this white center piece here we need to turn this white edge piece over here so we need to rotate this 180 degrees okay now we can put the white center piece okay to join the white edge piece, white edge piece and then we can simply rotate it okay it's done next we will do the four corner pieces okay so we have one but it is not in the correct place because this is white blue and orange this is white green and red green indicates that this whole side is for green color and this red edge piece indicate that uh, indicates that this whole side is for red uh, color so we need white green and red corner piece to place it here so this is not correct so we need white green and red white green and red so white green and red it's over here so we must bring this up first okay then uh, okay we will rotate this okay so white green and red white green and red okay so this is the corner piece that must be placed here but we need to put the white piece on top okay i mean the white color on top so to do that we need to turn this around so we will flip this around flip it around now before we put the white corner piece white uh, red and green corner piece here okay we will check the edge piece in the middle section okay so this is green this is a green edge piece that indicates that this whole side is for green color so this is red this means that this whole side is for red color so this should be green right because this is green but since we are going to put the white green and red corner piece here so it should be opposite color first so this is correct now we can place the corner piece here see the colors are now much red red green green uh the white piece or the white side is pointing upward that is correct now we can rotate this 180 degrees okay so green green red red white white okay so these two colors red and green are also much okay now uh we need white oh let's see what is available so we have white red and blue corner piece so this is white red and blue so this okay this is this is the correct corner piece and it is already set up okay this is red this means that this whole side is for red color this is blue this means that this whole side is for blue color so the color with the mid uh edge piece in the middle on the middle section must be opposite first so this is correct and the white is uh, facing upward correct now the colors are much blue blue red red so we simply rotate this 180 degrees okay so red red blue blue white white red red blue blue okay now we need the uh, another one so we need white blue and orange corner piece to place it here so this is not this is not the corner piece we need the uh, white blue and orange this is green so we need white blue and orange so it's right here uh, we, we must uh, flip this around okay so white blue and orange white blue and orange so this is the corner piece that uh, needs to be placed here 
but the white side is not on top so we need to place this white side first on top so we need to flip this around first okay okay now as you can see uh this is this edge piece is blue it indicates that this side is for color blue this is orange so this means that this side is for color orange so the color uh, with the middle uh, edge piece should be opposite first okay it is correct that's why the colors uh, of the corner piece are now match with the colors in the middles uh, in the on the edge piece in the middle section okay the colors of the corner piece are now matched with the uh, colors of the edge piece in the middle section. Okay, so orange, orange, blue, blue. So white is facing apart. Now we can simply turn this 180 degrees to put it here. Okay, so white, white, blue, blue, orange, orange. Okay, blue, blue, orange, orange. Now uh, we have one more left. We need the uh, white, orange, and green. So it's right here. Okay, so as you can see, the white is not on the on the top. Okay, so this means we need to flip this around first to place the white on top. Okay, before we rotate it here, let's check the uh, edge piece in the middle section or on the middle section. So this or this is orange. So this means uh, this whole side is for orange. This is green. This means that this whole side is for green. Uh, the color must be opposite first, but this is not opposite. So we need to uh, flip this over. Now we can put the corner piece. Okay. So the white is facing upward. It's on top. And the colors are now match green, green, orange, orange. Now we can simply turn this 180 degrees. Okay, so white, white, orange, orange, green, green, orange, orange, green, green. Okay, so let's check. So the white side is done. Okay. Now the next step is to do the center pieces to fix the center pieces. Of this cube okay okay uh, on the lower portion only okay on the lower portion first okay so let's choose okay okay uh, maybe we can start with the red color okay so we have one center piece that is already fixed we need another one red center piece so we will look for it in a diagonal manner okay we have one here before we place this uh, red center piece here we need to flip this okay we need to flip this to the left side okay okay let's turn that to the left side like so now we can place this uh, red center piece here okay so as you can see the color is much red red okay now we can turn this oh before we let's put this back first okay before we place the white uh, red center piece here we need to set this uh, corner piece aside first so it won't be messed up when we place this red center piece here okay okay now we can place the corner piece back okay as you can see the colors are much blue blue red 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 and the white is facing apart so now we can simply turn this 180 degrees okay it's fixed okay next we will look for a blue center piece we will look for it in a diagonal manner okay so we don't have a blue center piece here but we have okay uh, we have blue here okay adjacent to this green center piece we can swap these two okay we can swap these two okay to swap these two okay 
Okay, uh, let's uh, rotate this 180 degrees. Bring it down. Now it's on the right side. Okay. Uh, okay, let, let's turn this back. I'm, I'm afraid we might uh, mess up this uh, white side. So we will choose the blue center piece here. Okay. So, oh, we have, we have one here on the opposite side. Okay. Oh, but we need to place it on the lower portion first. Okay, so blue centerpiece. Okay, uh, diagonal manner. So we look for it. Okay, so we don't have blue centerpiece here, but we have here. So we can uh, swap these two first. Okay, now we will do it on this side. Okay, to avoid messing up this white side. Okay. Now we will uh, we will swap these two, okay? So bring this down. So now the blue is on the right side. Uh, this one bring, bring it also down. Now the yellow side is on the left side. So bring this a little bit upward. This one also down, downward a little bit. Now they form a big circle. Now we can rotate this to swap the two center pieces. Okay, bring this up, bring this down, bring this back up, bring this back up also. Now, let's see. Okay, so we need to place a blue centerpiece here. So, we will look for it in a diagonal manner. Okay, now it's right here. So, now, uh, before we place this uh, blue centerpiece here and put it here, we need to rotate this first to the right side. Oops. Okay. Now, uh, set this aside first, so it won't be messed up when we place this blue center piece here. Okay, now we can bring the corner piece back. So, as you can see, the colors are match. Okay, now we can simply rotate this 180 degrees, so it is fixed. So, now we will do the green side. We need the green center piece, so we will look for it in a diagonal manner. Okay, we don't have one here. Okay, how about this side? So we need the green center piece also here. So we will look for it in a diagonal manner. Okay, we only... Okay, we have one here, but we need to swap these, these two. Okay, so we will swap this yellow and green. So again, bring this down. The yellow center piece is on the right side. Bring this down also. The green center piece is on the left side. Now bring this a little bit up to form a half circle Then bring this down a little bit only to form a half circle. So these two half circle uh, form a big circle. Now we can rotate this to swap the two center pieces. Okay, bring this back up, bring this down, bring this back up, this one also. Now let's check. Okay, so green center piece diagonal manner okay now we can place it here and put it here but before doing that we need to turn this to the left side first okay now set this corner piece aside okay now we can place this center piece here okay now we can put this corner piece back so the colors are now much now we can rotate this 180 degrees okay it's fixed now we will do the other okay the other one uh, we need a, a green centerpiece so okay so we don't have one here okay we'll just swap these two okay so we will rotate this to do it here to avoid messing up this white side okay so we need to swap these two okay so again bring this down now it's on the right side, bring this down also. Now it's on the left side. Bring this a little bit up. It form a half circle. This one also, bring it a little bit down. Okay, so it form a half circle. The two form a big circle. Now we can rotate this. Okay, the green is now on the left side. Bring this up, bring this down. Bring this back up, bring this back, uh, back up also. Now rotate this. 180 degrees okay now let's check 
okay now we can uh, put this uh, green centerpiece here but before we do that we need to set this aside first okay because we need to uh, put this on the right side first okay so we need to rotate this now we will set this uh, corner piece aside first okay we can now bring this green center piece here okay now they are joined these two now are joined okay they are joined together so now we can put the corner piece back so you, as you can see the colors are much green green orange orange now we can rotate this 180 degrees okay it's done now we need orange center piece okay we have one here so we need to set this aside first because we need to place this orange edge piece here then set this white corner piece aside first so it won't be messed up when we place this orange center piece here okay now we can place the corner piece back so the colors are now match now we can turn this 180 degrees okay it's done now we need another one so we'll look for it in the diagonal manner okay diagonal manner okay we have one here and one here so we will swap these two we will turn this 180 degrees so we can do it on this side to avoid messing this up okay we need to swap these two so again bring this down now the yellow centerpiece is on the right side bring this down also the orange centerpiece is on the left side bring this a little bit up just to form a half circle this one bring it down a little bit to form the other half circle so rotate this to swap the two center piece or center pieces now bring this up bring this up rotate this back okay now let's check it okay now we can place it here but before we do that let's set this aside first because we need to place the orange edge piece here now set this corner piece aside let's place the orange center piece here now bring the corner piece back okay the colors are now matching green and orange now we can simply rotate this 180 degrees okay it's done okay so the lower portion is done okay now we will do the center pieces of the upper portion okay together with the top portions okay so we will fix the center pieces of the upper portion okay now let's see uh where's the other red okay it's over here okay let's see this is green okay we can place this uh green center piece here because it it is already in a diagonal position okay so to do that uh okay we need to set this aside first this one so we can rotate this okay and place this green center piece back now we can rotate it back okay so we will concentrate on the center pieces first okay uh, we will do the edge pieces and the corner pieces later okay now we need to put this green center piece here but it is not on the other side which is supposed to be because uh, we need it to be on a diagonal position okay so we need to swap these two in order to swap these two okay bring this up now it's on the right side bring this also up now it's on the left side bring this a little bit down so it will form a half circle bring this a little bit up so it will form another half circle now we can rotate this to swap the two bring this down bring this up okay now bring this back this one also okay now it's on the opposite side see so now we can place uh, this center piece green center piece here so to do that uh, we need to set this aside first okay so we can bring this up now we can bring the green center piece back here now we can simply rotate this 180 degrees okay next okay now we can place this orange center piece here because it is already on the opposite side diagonal position 
so rotate this to set it set it aside now we can rotate this also 180 degrees okay now we replace the orange this one here okay now just rotate this 180 degrees okay next we need to place this blue centerpiece here but it is not in its proper position so we need to place it on the opposite side which is the diagonal position okay so we need to swap these two in order to do that we need to okay if we do that we might mess this up but that's all right we're just going to fix it okay so okay we need to swap these two so bring this up now it's on the left side bring this also up now it's on the right side okay now uh bring this a little bit down to form the half circle and bring this a little bit up just to form the other half circle now we can rotate this okay the two are now swapped okay bring this back up this one also okay now it's on the other side we can now place it here so to do that okay uh we can set this aside first okay then bring this up now bring this back now they are together okay so now we can simply turn this 180 degrees okay now we need to place this red centerpiece here okay let's check okay okay before we do that actually we can swap these two the green can be placed here the yellow can be placed here since these two center pieces uh, have the same color okay 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 we will swap these two first let's see mm. If we swap these two center pieces, these two might also swap. Okay. Okay, let's do it and see if that will be the result. Okay. But, but these two uh, will surely swap. Okay. These two probably. Okay, so okay, let's do it to to see if it if it's uh, the result. So to swap these two, okay, first these two must have the same color, okay, which they are. So now we can swap these two. So bring this up. This one also 180 degrees. Okay. Uh, then bring this a little bit up to form the half circle this one a little bit down okay downward to form the other half circle now we can rotate these two oops okay bring this back up bring this one also back down now bring this back up this one also okay so what happened Mm. oh let's bring this back down first we need to rotate this okay now we can bring this up then this one okay okay now the green is here the yellow is here okay so these two doesn't does not swap okay so it's all right uh, so these two are fixed this two okay this also okay these two colors are fixed so no problem so we have one left one center piece to fix so in order to do that okay we really need to swap these two okay we really need to swap these two so we can put the red piece here 
the red center piece here okay so bring this up this one also then bring this down a little bit so it will form a half circle this one up another half circle then turn this to swap the two okay bring this down bring this up now bring this back up this one also okay see now okay we mess up one here but uh, we will just fix it fix it okay so okay so if we fix this this might uh, also be fixed okay let's see okay now to place this here okay so Mm. okay need we need to set this aside first so we can bring this up now we will bring this red center piece back okay now we can simply rotate this 180 degrees okay now this one we can place this here so okay we can place this here actually these two can these two center pieces can be joined together and if we do that these two might be joined together also okay so let's try it okay so to do that f okay c l okay fix already then f again okay so fix 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 okay these four uh center pieces on top is already fixed also okay now we will do the edge pieces first okay this is okay this needs to uh orient okay this needs to be orient properly this one also and this one also so to do that just bring this a little bit up to form the half circle and this one down to form the other half circle then we can rotate this bring this up bring this down then we will do the other side we will do it on the other side okay so bring this a little bit up this one a little bit okay down okay then they form a big circle now we can rotate this okay bring this down bring this up then rotate this 180 degrees it's done okay this is done okay this one also will do the same bring this up bring this down rotate this bring this back bring this back bring this other side up this one down rotate it okay bring it back bring it back rotate this 180 degrees so it's done this one also will do the same up down rotate up down the other side up down rotate down up and rotate 180 degrees it's done 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 okay now we will fix the four corner pieces okay so let's see this is yellow blue and red so this is yellow blue and red this is correct okay it is in the right place okay let's check the other three corner pieces this is white orange and blue i mean yellow orange and blue yellow red green no this is not correct yellow red and green yellow orange and green this is not correct yellow orange and blue yellow orange and green this is also not correct so we have one correct okay so we have one corner piece that is in its right place okay so let's see 
white orange and blue i mean yellow orange and blue yellow orange and blue so okay this uh this corner piece must be placed here yellow green and orange yellow green and orange so this corner must be placed here and this one must be placed here so we need a clockwise rotation okay uh the other corner that is already fixed okay we will put it or place it on the lower left corner like this one okay like so now we will rotate this clockwise okay we will rotate this clockwise this is uh, the per permutation of the corner pieces okay so we need a clockwise rotation okay if we don't have uh, any correct corner pieces okay if we don't have any uh, correct corner piece that is on its correct place or right place okay we will still do the clockwise or counter clockwise rotation okay if we do that we can have one corner piece that is in its correct place okay and then if we have one correct corner piece that is in its correct place we will put it or place it on the lower left corner like this one okay now after that we will check if we need a clockwise rotation or a counterclockwise rotation in this case yellow blue and orange yellow blue and orange we need a clockwise rotation so to do that hold it like this and do this algorithm clockwise rotation clockwise okay so l b okay then l b r d l d then l r okay let's now check it yellow green and red yellow green and red okay this is correct yellow orange and green yellow orange and green this is correct yellow blue and orange this is correct okay this is already correct yellow red and blue okay now we will do uh, okay so the next step is to fix the orientation of the corner pieces okay orientation of the corner pieces okay this we need to rotate it counterclockwise this one also this one also so these three corner pieces uh, need to rotate it counterclockwise okay if we don't have any uh corner piece that is uh, in its correct orientation okay we will still do the uh, algorithm whether it is a uh, counterclockwise or clockwise okay it doesn't matter so if we do that we will have one uh, correct orientation we will have one corner piece that have uh, correct orientation okay like this one now if we have one we will place it on the lower left corner like so okay now after that we will check if uh, the corner pieces needs to rotate uh, counterclockwise needs to be cor uh, needs to be uh, rotated counterclockwise or clockwise okay in this case it needs it need to be the three needs to be need to be uh, rotated counterclockwise okay so we will do the counterclockwise rotation counterclockwise counterclockwise so we will start here f r b l okay we will do it six times f r b l f r b l six times f r b l f r b l f r so it doesn't matter if we move it clockwise like this or counterclockwise because it's uh, 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 180 degrees okay okay another one Okay.
okay it's done okay yellow side okay white side okay blue red green orange blue again okay it's done Okay, if we need a, a counterclockwise rotation for the permutation, so yellow, red, and blue, yellow, red, and blue, so this corner piece must be placed here, yellow, red, and green, yellow, red, and green, so this one must be placed here, and this yellow, blue, and orange, yellow, blue, and orange must be placed here. So we need a counterclockwise rotation for the permutation of the corner pieces so if we don't have any one that is correct or in its uh, correct place okay so we can do the counterclockwise rotation or the uh, the clockwise rotation to achieve one corner piece that is correct or in its correct place okay like so so if we have one correct place we will place it on the lower left corner like so okay like this one then to rotate this yellow blue and red so yellow blue and red okay so to rotate this counterclockwise okay so hold it like this and do this algorithm r l b l okay then uh, B R B L B L okay it's done okay so the orientation is already also fixed okay so yellow white orange blue red green okay okay if we need to do a clockwise orientation for the corner pieces okay uh, if we doesn't have any one corner piece that is correct or have a correct orientation we can do this clockwise or counterclockwise algorithm for the orientation to have at least one correct orientation okay so if we have one correct orientation like this one we will place it on the lower left corner like so then we will check if it's need uh, we will check if it needs a uh, clockwise or counterclockwise rotation for the orientation okay so this one need the uh, needs a clockwise orientation this one also and this one also so to do the clockwise orientation okay uh, the fixed one will be placed on the lower left corner okay so we will start here l b r f we will do it six times okay so l B. so it doesn't matter if we move it uh, rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise the composite part because since it is 180 degrees uh, it will have the same result okay okay F L D R F L B R F L B R F L B R F Okay, it's done. Okay. Again, if we need to swap these two center pieces, okay, these two center pieces must have uh, the same color, okay, like so. So to swap these two, okay, 
just do this Okay. Now if we need to do it on the other side, okay, previously we did it uh, front and right, now we will do it front and left, okay. So to swap these two, okay, okay, now we will bring this up instead of this one. Okay, then we will bring this down instead of this one. Just a little bit to form a circle. Okay, then rotate this to swap the two. Okay. Bring this down, bring this up. Now rotate this first, front first. Then either one of the two left or right or right or left okay it's done all right now if you want to join this uh, uh, red centerpiece together okay to place it here okay just uh, one is here and then one is here uh, one is in front of us and the other one is on the right side uh, we will join these two together and place it here to do that F R F R okay now if we are going to do it on the left side on the other side one is in front of us and the other one is on the left side okay if you want to join these two uh, green center pieces and place it here okay uh, just do this uh, algorithm F L F L okay uh, if we are left with one uh, center piece to be fixed okay so uh, this side is fixed this side is also fixed this side is also fixed so this side we we still have one uh, center piece to fix okay so this uh, green center piece is already on the opposite side okay diagonally so to fix this okay without messing this center pieces up okay uh, Okay, uh, just follow this. Okay, so it's fixed. Fix, 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 fix also, okay? Now, if it's on the opposite side, okay, so these center pieces, okay, are already fixed. We have one center, pie center piece left to be fixed, okay? Now, if it's on the other side, on the left side, previously it was on the right side, now it is on the left side okay so this should be placed here okay so just do this instead of uh, bringing this one up we will uh, bring this other side up okay a little bit just to form a half circle now instead of uh, bringing this down okay we will bring this down a little bit just to form another half circle now we can rotate this
Okay. Bring this back down. Bring this back up. Okay. Now, instead of rotating the right side first, we are going to rotate the left side first. Okay. And then the front side. Then the right side. Okay. So, fix, 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 fix. Okay. Thank you so much for those who have already subscribed and for those who haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe thank you so wag kalimutan wag kalimutan wag wag kalimutan maraming maraming salamat